Omega has a big relationships not only with the Olympic Games but with the most important part of the Olympic Games, the federations. They are building together the Olympic family. Omega is the official timekeeper for a long time in swimming, in track and field, in cycling, gymnastic. Before 1932, each referee and judge was also a timekeeper. And each one brought his own stopwatch. They had some uh, difference between the first and the second and the third because they watch watches were not uh, really reliable and uh, they were not controlled. And for this reason, they asked Omega to provide 30 controlled watches and one watchmaker. We started planning for London four years ago. We have about 420 pounds to bring from our company to London. And we are doing this by truck, only 17 kilometers. Then it's train to Basel. And from Basel we are going to Hamburg or to Rotterdam. And from Rotterdam we are going overseas to London. It's during about 14 days to come from Switzerland directly to London. And of course, all these things we have to do it in a big organization. It's a logistical thing and we have to do this perfect that everything is here on time and everything what we need is here. Everybody has to do something to be greener than uh, normally. For this reason we are sending the most things by train and by boat. If we are sending the whole thing by truck, we need maybe 15 or 16 trucks. After each Olympic Games, we are talking again together, what could we do better, perfect. Swimming is the only sport where an athlete can stop his time himself. We have always two systems, a main system, a backup system. And then we have a third system, they are special cameras. These ones are developed for 100 pictures a second. And so, if it's a doubt, we can have picture by picture and the time is always below and you have 100, 200 and you can say exactly at what hundredth of a second he was touching. We are always developing new things. Sometimes it's not a big difference between the old one and the new one, but uh, the goal in development is always time. <laughs>